man was arrested in Monroe County for a family disturbance. And the sheriff says that arrest caught the attention of the U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement. WTVA Shante Sumter explains what trouble that man is facing. Well, Craig Emily, that man is here in jail waiting to be picked up by ICE. According to Sheriff Cecil Cantrell, after the arrest, he began to give fake names as well as fake socials. But after those two things, the contents of this wallet as well caused them to dig a bit deeper. Roberto Quinto Romero was arrested Saturday after a family disturbance. We just had to dig and dig and dig and finally figure out who this guy was. Sheriff Cecil Cantrell says a call to the U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement cleared things up. We're holding him for ICE at this point. I'm sure at some point he's going to be deported back to Mexico. Uh, way we understand it, he was in a lot of trouble there. According to the sheriff, Romero is accused of throwing a child against a wall at a home somewhere out here along Rainbow Drive. Sheriff Cantrell says Romero had about $2,400 in cash and what appears to be a work card which expired in 2008. So we know by those people being interested that he does have a very serious criminal past. And you know, past. And also, it makes me think that he, he was a danger to Monroe County, even living here with the past that he's had. On when Romero will be picked up by ICE, but coming up on WTVA 9 News at 6, hear what residents had to say about this case. Live in Aberdeen, Shante Sumter, WTVA 9 News.